Hello everyone, it's Crafty Karen. I'm back with um, the Margaret Miller weekly collage and this is the CWP3. Um, I've actually done some preparation beforehand because uh, I'm running this uh, straight after the last video I'd done and because uh, I wanted to catch up. So um, I've done this kind of little cluster with um, the prompts on it. So we might start with that and get that glued down. So I'll just use this. And I've actually done a bit of prepping beforehand. glue works now because it's quite thick I'm going to use this instead of the um, glue stick screen. Alright now I've covered the background with the ooh la la paper and um, they're double sided papers so I've used uh, on the opposite side of this one is this paper, this pattern here. But I thought I'd alternate them and then I'm just going to All this and hopefully it's kind of centered. Just get my push this down. I'm using a paper doily for the lace effect on this, so hopefully, they're so delicate. Hopefully it holds up with the wet glue. Alright. Try to get this bubble out. The next door neighbours are having a a little bit of a party or get together or whatever you want to call it and um, there's lots of laughter and carrying on so I'm hoping I can get through this video without hearing any profanity okay so the prompts are something fast a lace or a portion or photo or illustration, a game piece, ledger paper, text in a foreign language and the bonus is something lavender. Uh, I'm probably not going to put any lavender on here but what I've done here is done some dash lines with a, a lavender and co highlighter, they're just from Kmart. Okay. Now this side, I just want to, because this is scrapbooking paper, I want to make sure the, this edge gets glued down properly. Usually the corners that pop up on this. Okay. Now I had a whole heap of 
goodies to work through and once again I was hoping to add some colour to my page. Um, it seems to be a bit of a trend with me with my neutral colours um, but I've ended up quite neutral again. Um, yeah, I did like um, this piece of paper, this from a golden book, uh, something fast with the planes in it, but I just couldn't work out how I was going to get it on the page and play around with it. So that's gone to the wayside. And then a game piece, I had this, hoping for some colour once again. But you know, that didn't work out for me. I've got these um, Scrabble cards that I thought I could use as a game piece, but it's not actually vintage or from anything old, they're quite new and didn't think it worked well with the page, but we could play around with that. Uh, what else do I have? Some Latin for the foreign language. Car, or a, a Vespa scooter, which I imagine would be quite fast. And also had this picture of a gypsy moth uh, plane. Um, oh, I've forgotten her name now. Amelia Earhart, maybe. Can't remember. Some more foreign language. And I'm using some paper doilies for the lace effect. So after going through all that, I did uh, find from a, actually this was from this book, The um, I'm pretty sure it was from the This peony book, these peonies, a ledger of um, of when they brought things and how many stock they had in. So I cut that out and I've inked that. So that could go on there. And with all those game pieces that I found, which I thought just looked too modern. I actually found uh, from an old cricket book this um, picture of some kids playing cricket and the game piece obviously without um, when you play cricket without a cricket bat which is a game piece you can't play cricket so that's the game piece there. So I had that. Um, but I also had this golfer. And the golf stick would be the game piece. Because obviously you can't play, the, do the game of golf without your golf stick. So, and it could be that I put both of them on this page. Just see how I can play around with this. And for something fast, I thought I would stay away from planes and cars and and all that kind of thing. And I'm trying to look at all the things that I have. I've got lots of um, a picture. I do have pictures of old cars, but um, I want something different. And um, then I looked over my bookshelf and I could see that my book of illustrated dogs was up there. So I thought, oh. What about a greyhound? So I have Fussy, fussy Cut Out, a greyhound. And I thought he'd look rather dapper on my page. So, so I've got Something Fast, which is a greyhound. The lace, uh, where's that other piece? I know I've got that piece there. I kind of wish I hadn't used the wet glue on it now. Um, but I do have some other pieces. 
So I thought I've got more ones that are more coffee stained. But I wanted to put a bit of contrast on the don't know which side. You know, I actually don't mind that. That colour. Oh. I might as well use that one. Yeah. That's my bit of lace. Game piece. Something past the Greyhound. That's your paper. Now over here is um, some text and it's actually um, Gaelic, um, which was thought was nice and I'm really regretting using that wet glue on that paper lace. The bonus, which I didn't think I'd put in there, was something lavender. I thought I'd give it a miss, but like I said, I put the dashes on, the, on there, but I'm kind of liking that. I know it's simple. maybe I might just stick him over there I think that it's dark outside I think there's a bit of glare on my because obviously they um I'll just turn my light over a bit um, that's a bit glossy there but I think I might stick him there so anyway, that's what I was thinking for CWP3. I'm pretty sure I've covered everything. Just hope that dries. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Simple, covers all the basics, so Greyhound on there. <laughs> so I'll just get my Trusty old magazine to put some glue on the back. Now I did fussy cut offline to have it ready because I didn't think you'd want to watch me use my um, exacto. What's well, actually yeah, my exacto knife. My duvalaki, as I call it. Clean them up pretty good. Now if I can get them up without breaking the delicate gold club. <laughs> and we might just sit him. So, and because he's on top of the Gaelic writing, the Gaelic text will say he's an Irish golfer. I couldn't tell you who he is. I probably would have read it when I was cutting up, but it's not something I'm going to remember now. So yeah, I'll sit him there. Now, uh, I've got some other foreign texts and I'm just not sure whether it still needs something else or whether it just looks fine the way it is. Let's get this whipped up. Okay. 
ですよね。で、なんかね。Dolly is so delicate. This up. Some glue on here. Now I'm hoping to get this posted straight up after the last one I did um, so that I'm caught up and then I can think about number four. Oops, mm. nearly chopped his man hood off, <laughs> poor doggy. Careful with his towel. Okay, so something past the greyhound, 
lace, I've used the, the lacy paper doily. The game piece is the cricket bat and the golf club. Ledger paper, uh, text in foreign language, so I've got Gaelic and I'm not sure what language that is, I'd say it was at a guess a Middle Eastern country and but it's something lavender I did put the little dash marks on there so when the glues are dry on these I will go back and maybe put a stamp and um, you know something on the background so that was our <coughs> cover. Oops, covering up the stamp. It's one of the stamps that um, Julie from Art and um, Junk Journal. Um, that I won in the giveaway. That's one of those stamps. <laughs> Okay, uh, the cover, oh, that's my front page. I don't know how I'm gonna decorate that yet. A little pocket there. I will do a little collage on there. This is Collage Weekly One. And that's two. And now we have Three. So next is four. Here's for four. Something fancy, something that starts with a H, a part of a recipe, a treat with a treat, a tree with fruit or blossom, something torn, and a bonus, something used in an office. Now I've got to go and edit and um, get these posted for you. And um, See you next time for the next collage. Oh, my voice is going. <laughs> uh, hope everyone's um, well. And um, if you like what you see, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the bell so you get uh, notifications when my videos pop up. And what else? What else? Yes, I will put in links to uh, Margaret Miller's YouTube and her website. See you next time. Thanks for watching.